Hi, dear students. This video record is about uh, point marking. Uh, well, in uh, using two-dimensional part of AutoCAD uh, for having uh, the views or profiles uh, in the end, uh, we may need to mark. Uh, uh, the projection of uh, some points. It may be a center point, it may be the image of a certain intersection, image of a terminal point, uh, whatever it is. In short, say that uh, how a point can be marked in using uh, the two-dimensional part of AutoCAD. Well, uh, before demonstrating how uh, a point is marked in AutoCAD using the two-dimensional tools of AutoCAD, well, say that in engineering drawing, uh, in marking a point on uh, a paper in the virtual environment, uh, say in paper simulation, uh, we use not a dot but a cross. A little tilted cross is used for marking points. Uh, well, uh, there are two techniques. Well, one of them using the uh, point marking facility of AutoCAD, mark a point. The other one, uh, transfer line technique. Using two transfer lines, one of them uh, horizontal, the other one vertical, at the intersection of the transfer lines, uh, we can have the point, we can uh, have the point as marked. I'm going to demonstrate the things in both of the methods. Well, but at the beginning, as a forward, say that which method is recommended if you ask me uh, on such a thing, then my answer without any doubt is transfer line method. Uh, especially if on the drawing paper, on the uh, paper, there will be not only one view, but more views, say multi-view projection, or on the same view, well, uh, not only one, but more than one points have the same abscissa or ordinate or altitude values. There may be, why not, point A, Abscissa of point A is equal to abscissa of point B is equal to abscissa point of D, and so on. If we use uh, uh, transfer lines for marking the points, then having only one line, okay, we manage to uh, mark the uh, the points, all the points having the same abscissa values, not only on one view but also on the other side view of the object. So, well, uh, it is advantages. Using transfer lines is an advantageous thing. Uh, can save uh, time. We can uh, decrease the drafting time. And also, uh, we achieve the things uh, while well, point marking issue uh, with little effort. Okay, now see both of uh, the, the things in both of the methods. Well, first see how a point is marked uh, or how some points can be marked using point marking tool of AutoCAD. Well, if not yet, well, for the template, uh, need to change the point style. Although in engineering drawing uh, we use tilted cross for marking the points using point marking uh, technique, uh, but in the default configuration of AutoCAD the uh, selected um, point style is a dot. That is uh, really uh, the wrong choice, wrong style, because a little dot will not be distinguishable on the paper. 
uh, in virtual environment a dot uh, may be like a pixel point so cannot be distinguished but a tilted cross can be easily seen can be easily uh, distinguished uh, okay and also another reason why we do not use dots uh, in marking the points well uh, answer the question bringing this example uh, to your interest yes um, in the design of this object uh, if I make zoom in zoom in and you can see it there is a tiny cylindrical extension okay while we are observing the object to have it is projection necessary projection under such a zoom factor the image of that tiny entity will look like a dot will appear as if it were a dot as a dot you see here there is a little dot it is actually not a point it has been marked but it is the image of a tiny entity so it is the main reason actually another reason uh, why we do not use dots for marking the points because reader cannot understand whether dot is just for construction purpose it has been marked or it is the image of something a tiny cylindrical extension for instance okay so change the point style ah, first uh, if uh, the drop down menu bar is not available uh, in the environment uh, manually you know it is to be manually invoked uh, this is quick access menu bar and under the quick access menu bar we have tap menu bar click on this arrow drop this list you know this procedure it is the thing to do uh, for invoking drop down menu bar and from the list uh, select the second option from the end it says show menu bar with a click then uh, drop down menu bar will appear in the screen and finds it is placed uh, between the quick and tap menu bars quick access and tap menu bars select format option and clicking drop the list uh, in the drop down list find point style option with a click okay bring the point style uh, configuration dialog box you see uh, the selected one it is done inherently by the software because the default configuration of software is on that option uh, it is a dot this is the wrong point style the correct point style in engineering drawing to use is cross or tilted cross well tilted cross if you're going to mark the points using points uh, tilted cross is the correct one if you're going to use transfer lines for marking the points then well horizontal vertical transfer lines uh, since those will be just uh, lines uh, going to be easily distinguishable tilted cross is the correct point style well point size um, AutoCAD offering 5% uh, as the uh, relative to the size of the screen well 5 may be too much maybe uh, not uh, in the order uh, I'm going to decrease it a uh, little bit say 2% is better for me I don't want to have the points mark which have been marked on the paper uh, as a big markers okay 5% well uh, gives us a big cross 2% is uh, better and then say okay uh, without uh, uh, forgetting well after making such a configuration changing click on save button well but you remind you in using classroom computers uh, well uh, any configuration changing uh, will be deleted when you shut down the 
computer, you know, classroom computers, because of the uh, security setting of IT uh, department, uh, because of the IT policy. But if you are the administrator of your computer, well, after making a configuration changing, if you clicked on save button, save the file, then uh, that configuration changing will be permanent. Okay. And then see how we can mark a point. Um, first, uh, find a example. Why explain why a point is to be marked? Well, from the memory of uh, the computer. I hope can find at the beginning I forgot to open that file I can I hope can uh, find the uh, suitable worksheet okay to worksheet um 1d 1b have a look at this one Yeah, okay, why not? Use this one. For instance, there is a point here. Okay, and with respect to this point, we have another point to mark. Distance from here to there is in the horizontal direction 60 millimeters, or depending on the unit of measurement, uh, say centimeter. Or if it is if it were third quadrant projection, then it would be inch. But sir, you see, dimension number has been written above the dimensioning line. Okay, and vertically oriented dimensions are in alignment with dimension line. You know, uh, in the previous one of the previous video records, briefly I informed you, already informed you that this means the quadrant is the first quadrant, uh, the projection is a first quadrant projection, and the dimensioning format uh, in accordance with ISO. Uh, means unit of measurement is millimeter uh, for mechanical engineering drawings for civil engineering drawings uh, well it is more common centimeter okay whatever it is say uh, this is a relative coordinate but first in uh, my demonstration well uh, I want to explain how a point can be marked uh, inputting it is absolute abscissa absolute ordinate values not relative coordinates okay turn back to here and then first see the address of uh, the facility which button is to be clicked on for uh, outputting uh, such a mark well, most of the cases we mark the points at the construction stage. In this logic, well, select from the list of transparent papers, construction page. You know, uh, thanks to uh, watching the previously recorded or subjected uh, record, uh, you know uh, what is transparent paper, how a, a user-defined transparent paper is created how system layers can be created, can be activated, uh, uh, how they are configured, etc. You know, all of such things. And in structure of my template, you see these are the existing transparent papers. Uh, from the list, select construction page. Well, construction layer is a user created or defined layer. So uh, it must be selected first with a click. And then, sure, whatever it is uh, drawn, uh, well, uh, thereafter, then uh, these are going to be created uh, in that layer, in the content of that transparent paper. Okay. And then, uh, move the cursor to the drawing panel. Uh, well, uh, to be able to find the point marking facility of the software, 
expand the panel you know if at the title bar of a panel there is an arrow this means clicking on the arrow we can expand the panel area after expanding the panel area can find the point marking tool of the software okay it is a multi-optional facility clicked on the listing arrow and then we'll see uh, the first option is for marking points multiple points this means in sequence can mark more than one points the second option is used for dividing lines into equally spaced uh, portions well uh, one of the video record you can see how it is used okay how this facility is used for dividing lines but here our purpose our subject is on point marking you know if a certain tool is multi-optional then clicking on the button uh, this means you selected the first option but if you're going to select not the first option but the other option then you must uh, drop the list of the options and then from the list with a click you can select the other option well the first option is uh, just for uh, outputting points marking points so click on this button and start the process after starting the process well as it is expected in the vicinity of the cursor it is true for any process uh, there will be uh, such a simulation it looks like for me train first compartment second compartment etc first compartment you know uh, we always see the, uh, the prompting requirement to do or to deal at uh, such a stage well it is uh, always true to have a train in the vicinity of cursor of course if along the status bar dynamic input button is in on status if dynamic input facility is on then yes we can see useful simulations in the screen at the stages well uh, such a train and also uh, well uh, at the stage uh, if exist we can see uh, arc simulation uh, well the simulation on the output of such a process at this stage okay well, having simulations, such simulations, uh, while passing to the stages of a process is really advantageous thing. Okay. Well, here you see system asking me on the uh, coordinates of the point. I started point marking process and system saying that uh, specify the point. How? Into the second box writing it is abscissa value into the third box ordinate value okay now here uh, these numbers are relative to the absolute origin not relative to uh, preceding points well uh, since at the paper in working stage simulation uh, in working stage I defined the lower left hand side corner of the paper yes you know it is the uh, common practice or uh, it is under agreement lower left hand side corners of drawing papers uh, considered is considered as the origin for XY coordinate frame yes origin is over here and the abscissa ordinate value is going to be measured relative to this corner relative to the origin in this example say that the abscissa value for the point which is to be marked is uh, let's say uh, 200 okay clicked on comma key as it is uh, used uh, to separate abscissa and ordinate values in mathematics yes x y separate them with a comma in AutoCAD clicking on comma key uh, can input the previously written number and take a right for the uh, next one here the third box is in blue color this means that box is ready to uh, write our uh, ordinate value the ordinate value for that point say that the ordinate value of the point is 140 and then press enter 
Yes, that is it. You see here in the screen, uh, in the working area, there is a tilted cross. Yes, I mark the point. Okay. But if the point is to be marked not relative to absolute origin, the corner of the paper, but relative to the preceding the mark point. Yes, now I want to answer this question. How we can mark a point relative to the precedingly marked one? Most of the cases, yes, uh, we mark the points relative to not the origin, but relative to the preceding point. Why? Because here in this example, for instance, you see, uh, can mark this point, and then relative to this point, can mark the others. This one, that one. Why? Because, well, we know the distance from this point to that point. The coordinate of this point is relative to that one, not relative to the absolute origin. Here in this example, we don't know the coordinates of uh, any point with respect to absolute origin, but thanks to the existence of this location dimensions, we know the locations x or y values, or both of them, relative to each other. If you started to the drawing for marking the points from this point, then can mark the second point 80 millimeters away in the horizontal direction. After marking this point, okay, the third point, it is the third point, let's say, in the order to mark. 80 millimeters is location dimension and 30 millimeters in the vertical direction, ordinate value. Uh, these are relative coordinates. Okay. Then, well, turn back to here. A point marking process is endless. Uh, so, system still saying the same thing. Specify point. Huh. If you're going to mark the point, following point, again using absolute abscess, absolute ordinate value relative to the origin, then continue. But if you're going to mark the point, need to mark the point, following point relative to the preceding one, this is the preceding the located point, then, well, there is a trick. Uh, need to have at symbol. You know, it is the symbol uh, in writing email addresses we use it. Okay, be able to bring at symbol. While clicking on alternate group key, as pressed, okay, clicked on the other key of the keyboard, it is uh, to write letter Q. If the uh, keyboard is a uh, uh, normal set keyboard, then yes. Alternate group and Q keys are to be clicked uh, simultaneously uh, to have a new compartment. Yes, you see now here along the train, uh, well, uh, there is a new compartment. It precedes the coordinate compartments. And in this new compartment, we have at symbol. Well, in AutoCAD, at symbol means the following coordinate values are relative coordinate values with respect to the preceding point. Now, with respect to this point, mark the second point. But here in doing this, I want to draw your attention to the, uh, the sign of the coordinates, relative coordinates. Relative to absolute origin, abscissa to have a point as marked over the working area cannot be negative. Ordinate cannot be negative, but if the point gonna be marked with respect to the preceding point, then abscissa subordinate may be negative. Well, relative to this point, if the new point to be marked is at, uh, at the right-hand side of the preceding point, then x value is positive. Actually, mathematically speaking, uh, uh, we can say that not x but delta x. Okay, x implies that it is relative to the absolute origin, but delta x means relative to the preceding point. If the point is to be marked at the right hand side, then abscissa delta x value relative abscissa going to be positive. 
but if the point is to be marked at the left hand side then uh, delta x uh, relative abscissa value will be negative okay and then AutoCAD knows please see the changing values within the third box if the cursor is at a place which is at the right hand side of the preceding the mark point you see in the box we have a positive number but after uh, moving the cursor to the other side of the point left side you see the number now dynamically changing while I'm moving the cursor is negative yes so it is important if you're going to mark the point at the left hand side then write x value delta x value as negative if you're going to mark the point at the right hand side write it as positive if similarly going to mark the point at a higher level relative to the preceding the mark one ordinate is to be written as positive but if you're going to write the number at a lower level mark the number at a lower position relative to the precedingly located one then write the ordinate value as negative see moving the cursor in the up direction ordinate value changing as always positive but if i move the cursor to such a positioning relative to the preceding point at a lower level then you see ordinate is negative okay Oh, after reminding you on such an important detail then well exercise I want to mark a point at a lower level at the right hand side of the preceding located point okay abscissa value positive now write 60 for instance don't forget the 60 is relative to the preceding the mark point uh, in the x direction since i wrote it positive then the new point gonna be marked at the right hand side click on comma key since the new point is to be marked at a lower level delta y value is to be written as negative minus let's say 30 press enter yes here is the new point you see it is at the right side and it is uh, at a lower level and now third point uh, here writing the coordinates of the third point then input the values relative to the preceding point here in the order the second point this is important now system saying that specify point if you're going to mark this uh, new point using absolute coordinates yes into the boxes write x and y values directly but if you're going to mark the new point relative to the preceding now in the order preceding point is not this but the second one then well you must have add symbol you know how and then into the box now relative to this point I want to mark the point I need to mark the third point at the left hand side say abscissa value minus 130 let's say this distance going to be measured relative to the second point click on comma key okay ordinate value I want to mark the point at a higher level say that ordinate value relative to the second point for the third is 95 millimeters press enter yes here is the point third point yes I hope uh, it became clear enough for you how a point can be marked uh, using absolute coordinates how a point can be marked using relative coordinates if you're going to mark the points relative to preceding uh, marked one don't forget first you must have add symbol and then pay attention whether the new point is at a higher level or lower level or at the right side at the left side according to select the correct sign for the delta x or delta y values okay this is the point marking method and uh, press escape button finish the execution 
if you marked all the necessary points of course yes and then how about the other method I said that uh, my favorite method is transfer line method uh, repeat again if there will be on the paper not only one uh, view but more than one views multi views then absolutely it is recommended mark the points uh, using transfer lines because only one time inputting abscissa or ordinate value this means you mark the uh, images of the same point on adjacent picture planes ha, if there will be only one view on the page uh, for instance plan view of a building but in the plan view of the building uh, there are uh, some windows well for uh, characteristic points of the windows the abscissa values are the same to be able to mark not only one of the window but uh, the characteristic point of the second third etc well if you select point marking uh, technique then for each you need to write the coordinates again 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 but if you use transfer lines then creating one transfer line this means you achieve to mark all the characteristic points having the same abscissa value or saving the having the same ordinate value okay now see how uh, uh, the points uh, can be marked using transfer line technique well, uh, for creating transfer lines, you know, uh, this is the facility in AutoCAD. Although on the facility button it is written construction, but uh, it is uh, by mistake, you know, uh, we use this facility for uh, creating transfer lines. Uh, well, shall I select the layer? It corresponds to this facility. First, dropping this list select transfer line uh, layer no no need because uh, not a matter the selected page is which one uh, since for this facility there is a system layer uh, whenever a transfer line is created uh, it is uh, it finds it is placed automatically in transfer line layer no need to select the uh, the page just create it drop the list and then well you know for marking a point we use a cross uh, not only one but two transfer lines are needed select cross option and now uh, AutoCAD asking me specify the insertion point this is the uh, stage for marking the uh, first point one of the points if for the first point or one of the points you know x and y values relative to the absolute origin then into the second and the third box uh, in the order respectively write x and y values for instance for the uh, first point one of the points i know abscess ordinate or if not then it is said that make a guess and arbitrarily uh, mark the first point but after marking the first point inputting the coordinates or uh, well, uh, if not, say, a little bit arbitrarily making a guess, okay? Then, mark the other points, of course, inputting the delta x, delta y values. Now, I mark the first point and then uh, press escape button. Well, in my consideration, this cross, this intersection is uh, at the location of one of the points to have. For instance, in this example, say that it is that point. Okay, and then, well, relative to this point, I'm going to mark this one. From this point to that point, distance in the horizontal direction, 80 plus 80, 160 millimeters. Okay? Yes. Now, uh, you see, this point is not an arbitrary place. It is location is relative to you at a certain distance away. Uh, 80 plus 80, 160. Or say that the second point, for instance, this point. Relative to this, 
it is 80 millimeters away in the horizontal direction but in the vertical direction 30 millimeters away for instance now here say that it is the case need to mark such a point abscissa 80 ordinate 30 uh, in point marking method uh, you know 30 must be written as negative relative to this and to be able to write the relative coordinates we need to uh, bring at symbol okay it is the other reason why I do not like or recommend point marking method not only uh, it is reason not only that uh, for the points having the same abscess or ordinate values uh, need to input the coordinates again and again but also it is impractical to have at symbol for each and also be careful whether the coordinate is to be written negative or positive but in transfer line technique we do not need to consider such things uh, because we always write the abscess ordinate values positive to be able to locate the point mark the point at the left side or right side we just move the cursor see how um, to be able to mark the points relative to the uh, others uh, at a certain distance away we drop the list in transfer line technique of course drop the list of the options and from the list select parallel with full distance option we need to select this option because we're going to input the distance between the first point and the second start the process it is from another point of view that facility is for creating parallel lines relative to the indicated one but these are going to be transfer lines by definition and in going to be created in transfer line layer okay I started the process selecting which option repeat again parallel with full distance option and now inventor as sorry AutoCAD asking me select the line here the line is the reference line I know the coordinate of the second point in this example this is the second point relative to here so it is 80 millimeters in the horizontal direction so indicate this vertical line it passes through the first point as the reference and then well uh, along the train you see we have uh, three compartments second compartment is ready to write delta x value not x delta x relative to the indicated transfer line how about the coordinate of the second transfer line in our example it is 80 write 80 okay and then press enter and then the point is at which side if it is at the right side move the cursor to the right if it is at the left side to the left no need to write uh, delta x delta y negative or positive always write the delta x delta y values to their absolute values well at this stage can teach to the software that point is at the left side or at the higher level or lower level simply moving the cursor and then clicking the mouse yes after the click uh, clicking the mouse you see I have a new line it is parallel to this indicated reference and I am sure distance between this and that as I type typed at this stage is exactly equal to 80 okay now I know that the second point is along this transfer line where 30 millimeters away from this point since through this point this horizontal transfer line is passing now uh, indicate that transfer line as the reference and then into the box it will appear along the train it is in blue color uh, means that box is ready for our typing write the delta y value always positive in transfer line technique no need to think about it whether it is negative or positive always write the numbers okay as the offset values as the shortest distances as positive 
30, press enter, and then at this stage teach to the software whether the point, new point is at a higher level or lower level. I'm moving the cursor in the correct sense. I know that the second point is at a, a lower level, so move the cursor in the down direction and click the mouse. That is it. This intersection, okay, located by this newly created horizontal transfer line and preceding the created vertical transfer line, no doubt is the point which is to be marked. Okay? And then if you have some other points, then continue relative to this or relative to that, depending on the case, well, indicate the reference and then input the offset value and then press enter. That is the, the thing to do in uh, for marking the points in using or applying transfer line technique. If you marked all the points, then of course finish the execution pressing escape button. Yes, in my consideration, this is the first point, this is the second point. If it were, uh, say, an exercise to have this projection in the end, I will say that this is the first point, this is the second point. Okay. Uh, following exercises, of course, uh, till that time you're going to ready to study on such uh, relatively difficult uh, shapes, completed projections. But this video record, I'm going to end it. Okay. I think I achieved to answer the question. Uh, it is uh, about points, how points can be marked while well, simply using point marking facility using tilted crosses or transfer lines. I recommend mark the points using transfer lines. Okay then, well finishing this video record dear students, uh, see you next, okay, video record, uh, stay healthy, bye bye.